Okay, so first of all, we're going to navigate to Google Ads and sign in as normal. So within Google Ads, you have the Keyword Planner, which is under Tools and Settings, Planning and Keyword Planner. So in order to do your negative keyword research, you can do this alongside doing your normal keyword research for building out your account. And you're going to go through the option of discovering new keywords. So the best way to do this is just to gather four or five keywords that are relevant to your business that you would like to actively bid on and enter these into this box here to discover new keywords. So I'm going to go ahead and type mine in. There we go. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click the get results option. Once the data has loaded, you'll see that there's multiple options at the top of the screen here to adjust how your data is presented and what areas it is looking at. So for example, the locations here at the moment are preset for me, um, targeting the United Kingdom, the English language, Google search network, and it's in the last 12 months worth of data. That's absolutely fine. That's exactly what I want to be looking at for my particular account. However, these can be adjusted in line for specific cities that you want to target, different languages and different times scales. So once the data is uploaded, so once the data is available, you'll see that you'll have the original keywords that you entered into the keyword tool at the top. So mine was AdWords training, Google Ads training, Learn PPC and PPC training. It'll give you various different columns with some information about those specific keywords. So we've got the average monthly searches, um, some of them are between 100 and 1000, some of them between just 10 and 100. And it'll give you the competition around those keywords as well. So medium is medium competition, high is high competition. And Google also gives you um, suggested bid ranges. So you here you'll see the top of page bid range. Um, the lowest range and the highest range. So it's basically saying to you that these keywords could vary from anywhere from £4.97 all the way through 1032 And of course, this can even be higher or lower when it comes to actually actively bidding on these keywords in your specific account. There's also an account status uh, section at the side which will tell you whether or not these keywords are already in your account that you're using to do the keyword research. Okay, so underneath is where the keyword ideas are. So these are a list of keywords that Google deems relevant to what you have entered um, and believes that you would like to also add into the account. So you can use this obviously for expanding your keywords, but it's also really great for identifying keywords that you don't want to be paying for. So we're just going to go ahead and download these keyword ideas. And this will just open up in an Excel format. So once you've got this, you can tidy it up a little so it's easier to read. Um, you'll probably just get rid of all these columns um, from G onwards. And here we have your data. So you can open up the columns so you can see exactly what you're looking at. Again, the top couple will be the exact keywords that you actively entered into the keyword tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and filter this data. So basically Google will download it in a format of relevance of the keywords rather than by search volume. So as you can see here, there's an average monthly search volume column on the right hand side. So as you can see here, there's a, a search volume column on the right hand side um, and Google will give an estimation of what the search volume is for these specific keywords in the location and language over the time period that you entered into the planning tool. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and work our way through these keyword suggestions and just highlight any that we feel are irrelevant to our account. So anything that we don't want to appear for when somebody types that into Google. 
So I'm just going to scan through this. Obviously, you can take your time with this and there can be a high volume of keywords. I've been quite lucky here in that there's only 172 in this case, but often you'll get thousands depending on the industry and the list of keywords that you enter into the keyword planning tool. So it can take a bit of time, but it's definitely worth it for you. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this Amazon PPC course because I don't want to appear for this specific keyword. It's not relevant for my business. You might also want to get rid of any 2019 terms because we're now in 2020, or it might just be that you want to appear for 2019 terms because people have accidentally typed in the wrong year. It's completely up to you. Um, here we've got SEO and PPC courses. So I don't cover SEO, so I wouldn't have that keyword in my account. I've got free Google Ads training and a lot of businesses will actually kind of be in two minds about using the option for free um, within keywords. Um, it is a good way to potentially get customers in, but if you aren't willing to offer anything for free, um, there's no point in bidding it. You're just going to be spending a lot of money and not getting any conversion from that. Um, I do offer taster training courses, so I could potentially have that in my account, but for this case, I'm going to exclude that also. Um, and then you've got more repeated mentions of Amazon. So once you've highlighted um, a keyword that you feel is irrelevant, if it's not the whole phrase, so Amazon PPC course, so for my example here, it's just the word Amazon that is irrelevant to my business. So any other mentions of Amazon within this list, I can just ignore because all I'm going to do is add the term Amazon as a negative rather than this whole phrase. Um, again, you've got search ads 360 training here. No, that's not what we're offering. Um, so on and so forth. So you just go through this list, like I have mentioned, highlighting all the things that are relevant to your business. And then at the end, once you're done, you can just filter this out by the cell color, so yellow. And then you've got your new list of negative keywords. Now, what I usually do with this is once I have my negative keyword list is I'll start to tweak them to exactly what I want. So in this case, I'm going to get rid of the PPC course and just have Amazon. I'm going to leave. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the keywords related at the front of that and just have the 2019. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this and just have SEO. Um, I'm going to leave the free Google AdWords training as an example because we could have that as an exact match. And the search ads 360 training, again, I might just have search ads 360 and get rid of the training. So anything to do with search ads 360, anything to do with SEO, anything to do with Amazon, anything to do with 2019 will all be excluded from my account. And then the exact search phrase free Google AdWords training is going to be added in as a negative exact. So the next phase is to manipulate these keywords in a format ready to upload into Google Ads Editor and into your account. So I can just pop these onto another page. So you've got your keyword. All you need to do is write your match type also. So I'm going to have a negative phrase for all of these and an exact as an example for this one. Now all this means is, like I mentioned, if someone was to now type into Google, I want to learn Amazon PPC. I will not show for that phrase because I've added Amazon, which is within this phrase, as a negative phrase in my account. However, if someone was to type free Google training, I could potentially show for this because I've added free Google AdWords training as a negative exact, which means only this specific phrase will be excluded from my account, whereas variations of it will not be. So if I wanted to add the word free and get excluded from any potential search that included that, I'd have to also add free as a negative phrase to the account. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to upload this into your account. 